Our Someone to Know this week was born and raised in Sweden. He moved to the U.S. as a young adult, served in the Navy as a rescue swimmer, and has spent decades challenging himself in open water swims. His current goal, to tackle the English Channel. Andy Cassinari introduces us to Anders Jacobson. These nice, gentle laps in the pool are just a warm-up for Anders Jacobson. He can do this for hours, and he does, usually outdoors. Monday, I got five hours in Tahoe. Yes, Lake Tahoe, or sometimes Donner, where most of us find the water uncomfortably cold. I was getting a little toasty. It's like 67 in Tahoe right now. That's a few degrees warmer than the water will be in the English Channel when Jacobson attempts to cross it. I estimate the English Channel is going to take me about between 14 and 15 hours. Unassisted with no wetsuit. Just test your limits. See what you can do and can't do. Anders has been testing his limits most of his life. When he moved from Sweden to the States, he became a rescue swimmer for the U.S. Navy. Primary job is pilots who eject. We go get them. Second one is if somebody falls off the ship. Third is if we encounter anything in the water that needs further investigation. After serving in the U.S. Navy for four years, Jacobson began swimming for fun. To and from Alcatraz 16 times. Uh, one round trip. And then there was this challenge during a Vermont winter. One more lap. Good job, good job. 25 meters, one more. Where they cut a pool, a two lane pool, out of the ice, and then we get in. Getting in below freezing water is dangerous, admits Anders. And we work up and longer times and colder water. That's why lanes at the Sports West pool are no big deal. And the water temps at the lake are toasty, all part of the prep to finally conquer the 21-mile English Channel. If you ask me after, there might be other plans. Wow. So Jacobson will head to England in about six weeks, along with his wife, who will sit in an escort boat during the open water swim. And from there, she will toss bottles of liquid nutrition tied to a rope to Anders so he can survive one of the most dangerous swims in the world. With someone to know, Andy Castaneri for Two News.